Hi students, my name is Niyati Said and thanks for watching Edupedia Word Videos. My topic for the presentation is Phylum Mollusks of Kingdom Animalia. So let's proceed towards our topic that is Phylum Mollusks. This is the second largest animal phylum. Okay, the main characteristic of mollusks are that uh, they have unsegmented soft body. They mostly have internal or external shells. They have mantle. Mantle is a fold in a body wall that secretes the hard protective shell. Okay, they have muscular foot or tentacles. They have radula. Radula is a toothed structure used to grate food. Okay, they have two pairs of gills, except in uh, pulmonate snails. They are triploblastic in nature. They are they are silomates. They have bilateral symmetry. They are terrestrial and aquatic. The body is surrounded by calcareous shells, as I have told you that they mostly have internal or external shells. Uh, their body is surrounded by calcareous shell that means it is made up of calcium carbonate except slugs and octopus okay which are soft bodies internal shell is found in sepia okay this is an exception in mostly uh, species of mollusks outer calcareous shell is found but uh, sepia is an exception where uh, it is uh, located internally okay as I have told you that their body is uh, segmented soft body. They have three parts, head and ventral muscular foot and a dorsal visceral hump. It's can over visceral humor form a mental that shell. Okay. Mental is a fold in a body wall that secretes a heart protective shell. Okay. Now come to their respiration and uh, excretion. Respiration is uh, by gills, which is present just below the mantle. I repeat, what is a mantle? A mantle is a fold in a body wall that secretes the heart protective shell. Okay. Head, the head has tentacles. The mouth has fill like rasping organ. Okay. They are oviparous. Their larvae is known as trochoplate and welger. Okay. Their examples are pila, which is commonly known as apple snail. Pinktada, that is uh, pearl oyster, sepia, which is known as cuttlefish, loligo means squid, and octopus means devilfish. Okay, so they earn uh, energy. All mollusks have different diets depending on class and surroundings. Okay, organisms like slugs and snails they consume plant and sometimes other small creature contain a tug that shreds all food. Okay. Bivalves. Bivalve is a class of uh, mollusks that we will be reading in the later section. Bivalves eat plankton and algae. Bigger ones like squid and octopi it eats fishes, crustaceans, and other mollusks. Okay. Mollusks living in uh, water use their gills as a means of obtaining energy. Gills absorb oxygen and let out carbon dioxide. Okay. In this case, gills not only used for respiration but also feeding as cilia coats the wall of the gills as particles of the food pushed out by gills and ingested by the organism. Okay, some bivalve mollusks feed on food particles in the water column. Okay, while others use a tubular siphon to vacuum food particles from their surface okay that they are known as suspension feeders okay this is the uh, representation of a snail okay this is these are uh, tentacles these are eyes it is a penis of a snail it is a anus rectum blood vessel and mental shell as we know that mental is a, a fold in a body wall that forms heart protective shell okay it is a hermaphrodite means both sexes are not separate okay these are the digestive glands this is the foot this is the stomach part this is the visceral mass mucous glands are also present just behind the uh, visceral mass these are the salivary glands okay 
and this is the esophagus and this is the radula okay so what is radula radula uh, is a tutored structure used to grate food okay now if we see about its development in evolution then it is believed that mollusk evolved from the species similar to the one the right contained its gill reproductive and excretory organs within the mantle cavity okay it resembles limpet like fossils okay during development mollusk underwent torsion causing the mental cavity and all organs to end up resting over their heads okay means uh, torsion takes place and uh, because of torsion internal organs also get twisted hmm? differentiates from other species because the classes of mollusk have always been debatable because they have evolved based on adaptation to environment and changing conditions okay most other phylums are not as divided are not as diverse and have not evolved to the extent that the phylum mollusk have okay now phylum mollusk is divided into seven classes which are those seven classes gastropoda which have single shelled okay example is cowries okay second class is bivalvia which is a two shelled structure example is mussels okay third class is aplocophora that example is solenogastrus fourth is fourth class is monoplacophora the example is segmented limpets okay fourth fifth class is polycoplacophora examples are chitons sixth class is scaphopoda example is tusk shells okay and the last class is cephalopoda examples are cuttlefish octopus etc okay now we will proceed towards the first class that is gastropoda which have uh, single shelled cowries okay gastropoda gaster gaster means stomach and podi means food I always been teaching you that always break the term and you will get to know the exact meaning so gastri means stomach and podi means food so stomach food okay it includes most molluscan with perhaps 60000 existing species and 15000 fossil forms okay generally gastropods have an asymmetrical spiral shell which functions as a portable retreat okay their body consists of a head foot visceral hump and mantle okay gastropods are primarily marine but freshwater and terrestrial forms also occur the typical gastropod shell is a three layered a spiral hole of uh, calcium carbonate that is caco3 okay at the head end of a gastropod the mouth is surrounded by one or two pairs of tentacles which often carry eyes either at the base or at the stalks while the pharynx usually bears coarse or fine teeth on the tongue that is radula depending on its mode of living the food is usually in the form of flat creeping sole which may bear an operculum for closing the shell okay so gastropoda larva they undergo a torsion that brings the rear end that means the posterior end of the body such as mental cavity gills anus to near the head end and results in the twisting of the internal organ also okay in many species this twisted form is retained by the adult in other it is lost partially okay now come to the second class is bivalvia okay bivalvia this class formerly known as pelecypoda okay this is the second largest amongst the molluscans it has about 10000 living species species and 2000 of which may be for fresh water all have a laterally compressed body with two shell halves or that shell halves is known as valves this is valves okay 
that the the walls are hind dorsally and can completely enclose the body and always know that two walls are combined or, or closed by one or two large abductor muscles okay and kept azar by a chitinous elastic ligament located at the hind okay bivalves have a greatly reduced head and no radula that means they don't have toothed structure to grade the food okay bivalves have a relatively simple nervous system with three pairs of ganglia and two pairs of long nerve cords okay this is the structure of a bivalvia this is the food ganglia ganglion that comprises the nervous system this is the labial pulp it is its mouth stomach digestive glands heart kidney anus posterior abductor muscle which holds two walls together okay this is mental or uh, a fold in the body wall that forms a heart protective shell which is made up of caco3 okay the bivalve body plan is quite simple okay it has lost a divined head end with a pharyngeal gland and radula tactile chemosensory and visual receptors were present have migrated to the mental at the open edges in the shell that means they have migrated to the mental okay now come to the third class third class is aplocophora Aplicophora uh, is without place is what this term means. Okay. Aplicophora are small cylindrical worm-like creatures. They do not have shells. That means uh, they are shellless, but have small calcareous spicules which are embedded in their mantle. Mantle, I repeat, what is? It is just a fold in a body wall which forms a hard calcareous shell. Okay. they do not have head or specialized excretory organs so that is nephridia the food and the mental cavity are reduced sea cucumber is the most familiar example of this type this is the representation of sea cucumber okay now come to the polyco polyplacophora okay polyplacophora is the four, fifth class of phylum molluscans about 800 existing species of chiton are identified till now all are rock dwelling marine molluscans with the oval shaped bodies as you can say that they have oval shaped bodies that are flattened from back to front or you can say dorso ventrally okay eight overlappings uh, as you can see that these are eight overlapping uh, separate plates that form the shell and the plates are articulated by a fairly complex set of muscles the class is designated from its name polyplacophora which means bearer of many plates okay just break the term and you'll get to know the exact meaning poly means many and placophora means plates so the one who bears phora means bearer pla placo means plates and poly means many so the one who bears many plate okay chitons are mainly found in shallow water they are often under rocks and other shells but separate genera can be found in water they become active at twilight and move around very slowly in search of food okay if we see the anatomy of chitons it is comparatively very simple and with no evidence of torsion is seen in it hmm? nevertheless despite a primitive nervous system chitons in the subfamily tonicia they possess rather remarkable eyes they are found in shallow tropical waters most other chitons and those in the skino chitodia family they do not have developed eyes although they may respond to light most seem to depend on tactile or chemically sensitive nerve endings to locate their food okay i hope it's clear to all of you now let's proceed towards the fifth class of molluscan that is class monoplacophora okay 
the animal of this class is about 1 inch long and has characteristic of uh, both chitons and gastropod but does not quite fit into either of the class they are very small and a and have a single cap like shells that make them look similar to limpets and hence the common name is segmented limpets okay this is the presentation of segmented limpets this is the limpet and you can see the segments on it so that's why its name is segmented limpets okay now come to the class scaphopoda Scaphopoda means boat footed, okay. Scapho means boat and poda means foot, okay. So they are boot footed. Marine mollusk with a tapering tubular slightly curved tusk like shell. As you can see this is a tusk like shell that is open at both the ends. It is open from here and it is open from here. Okay, the large end remains anchored in the sand while uh, by a cone-shaped foot. Influent and outfluent streams takes place at the narrow end. At the wider front end, a borrowing foot is generally extended. Okay, about three fifty species are known till date. Most found in six meters or more of water, with a few species only found on the shore. Okay, seashore. Cadula shells are typically 4 mm in length, whereas dentalium shells up to 150 mm have been found offshore of Japan. Okay? The shells are widely used for jewelry and are often masked in the beaded portion okay, of American Indian clothing decoration. Okay? This is a representation of Opoda. Uh, it, this is its mouth, this is its foot, this is the mental cavity, okay, and this is the anus, okay. Now, moving forward towards the class cephalopoda. The name means head footed, that was boot footed, and this is head footed. Cephala means head, and poda means foot, so they are head footed. These are exclusively marine mollusk that have a prominent and large head, eyes and tentacle. It is seen that shell is either internal or absent. Okay. This is, uh, you can say, an exception. That shell is either interior or absent. As I have told you earlier, that sepia is an example of internal shell structure. Okay. And octopus is also an example. Class Cephalopoda, it includes chambered nautilus, cuttlefish, squid, octopus, as well as fossil ammonite and other fossil forms. It is a very diverse class with 600 living species and more than 7,500 fossil species. Okay. In the evolution of cephalopods, three common fossil groups, uh, Orthocerida, Amunoidea and Belemnoidea. They are particularly interesting, very interesting. Their size varies from planktonic to some as large as 60 feet. For example, the present day squid found in an open ocean. Okay. However, most cephalopods are small and they form a major component of food web of larger fishes and whales as they have for at least the past 200 million years okay a squid if you see they are dibranchiate okay they are dibranchiate as you can see in the diagram they have eight arms and two tentacles body fins internal shell vestige for muscle attachment okay what remains in a squid is either a small horny plate that is completely encased by the mantle. Okay. Paired tentacles are used for lightning quick grasping of prey while the other tentacles are used for holding. Okay. Now if we see about the octopus, I haven't shown octopus image here but uh, I guess you know what octopus is. 
Octopus species, they are also dibranchiate. They have eight equally long arms and no shell or internal vestige of a cell. Okay. Most have no fins. Okay. They don't have fins. The vampire octopus are actually small squids. Most the but the two small uh, tentacles are not obvious. Okay. These are the representations of um, phylum mollusks: sepia, unio, pearl oysters, land snail, limnia, tentalium, octopus. Okay. So this comes to an end. Thank you and stay tuned and keep watching Wikipedia word videos.